Uh, so what's up guys, Fables here, and I'm back to another Q&A, and my webcam is really blurry. Hold on, I need to uh, make it more focused. There we go. So yeah, sorry about that. I didn't know if it was going to be unfocused, but uh, like I said before, I am back to another Q&A. And I'm sorry if this is kind of short. I think there's only like 11 or 12 questions, because people did ask questions, but I did post in the tweet saying to use the hashtag FablesQ&A5 to ask mostly serious questions, because I wanted to make this a good Q&A. Because the last q and I did, didn't really do that good. I tried to put as much serious questions as I could in this uh, video. So, yeah, we're just going to get into the first question. First question is from Holy Linz, or Linzify. He said, who is your favorite phase member? My favorite phase member has got to be Phase Rain. Nord and Shad. That man can do anything he wants. And I know he doesn't really care about what people say to him. But, like, I honestly wouldn't give a fuck. And it's not even just about the money. Like, I'm not going to bring up any money. But, like, he's just a cool guy overall. Like, he's so chill. He doesn't really get mad unless somebody's putting, like, dirt or lying on his name when i mean anyone would really get mad i get mad at that too but all those guys dude especially him they could just chill they can just fucking chill so yeah if i had to answer who's my favorite phase member it's probably be rain or i don't know they're all so like not basic but they all do like the same i don't know i'm just gonna say rain next question is from level he said what's your favorite shot in road to a setup shot if you guys don't know what my road to a setup shot is i'm not trying to sound cocky but you guys probably do like a lot of people know what it is. It's one of my most viewed series on my channel. It's pretty much just me trick shotting and uh, MW2 is what I've been doing it on. And we go for setup shots, but you guys can just go look at my channel for that. My favorite shot in Rodeo setup shot, I'll go try to find the clip. It was on Karachi. It was north. I think he hit a quad wrist twist over the wall on Karachi. I'll try to find the clip. If I do, I'll put it up right now. All right, so it actually wasn't the whatever wrist twist I said. It's been like 20 minutes since I fucking went to go look for this thing. It, it was on Karachi. It was actually a fail screen Adelia uh, to knack on Karachi over the wall. I will uh, play it right now. Get ready for the next round. I would have stung. Apparently he failed on something. I guess he failed on the screen. You guys don't know what a screen act is, go look it up. Apparently he failed on it. Still loved the shot. The shot was fucking crazy. There's been so many shots in my road to a setup. That's just one I can think of uh, off the top of my head. So yeah, uh, leveled that answers your question. And just for the record, I don't know what's playing in the background right now. It could be gameplay. It could be fucking some shit. I don't know. Next question is from Hoodies. He said, would you quit if you meet a gorg yeah, gorgeous girlfriend. Yeah, I don't know why he spelled it like that. That want you to stop. All right, I don't think he's American, but he's pretty much asking if I met a gorgeous girlfriend, would I quit if she wanted me to? To be honest, probably not. Like, I wouldn't care. I mean, whether she's my girlfriend or not, I don't think she would want me to stop because, like, what... I, I don't know, to be honest. I've never really been... I'm not gonna... I mean, he's asking me if I met a gorgeous girlfriend. I mean, I've kind of... I didn't have a girlfriend when I was, like, I guess you can say doing this YouTube thing. But she didn't really care. She was my girlfriend, but she didn't really care that, like, I did it. She thought it was actually kind of cool, but I didn't really get into it with her because I'm not gonna show her that I'm a fucking nerd. Although I'm really not a nerd if you think... Alright, that's off topic. But yeah, to answer Hoodie's question, if uh, if she wanted me to quit, would I? No, I probably wouldn't. I probably wouldn't care. Long story short, I'd probably tell her to either get used to it or just I'd tell her to get the fuck out. Uh, Air, I think that's how you say that. Dylan asked me would I do a run hour road do a setup. Uh, yeah, maybe in the future, probably for like I think we're coming up on our 20th episode or some shit like that, or like we're getting close to it. Yeah, it could be either on the 20th episode or just one episode that I feel like doing it, but I actually do plan on doing a one hour road to a setup, or maybe not a one hour, but maybe like a half an hour or 45 minutes. Maybe one hour is very long, but I will. I was actually considering it. So make sure you check out that shit in the future. Zuxi's asked, what other teams have you been in besides Ice and Soar, and when did you start getting into more complex shit? Um, I will, well, if you want me to go through all my teams from when I started being relevant. DZ was my first team. I think I joined DZ February 2014, and then I joined Auto, like, April 2014, and then I joined L7 in, like, July, and then I joined Soar in September, and then I got kicked from Soar in, like, January because I stopped. I wasn't really playing that much. Then I joined, what team did I join after Soar? I joined 2K. And then I joined ICE. And he also asked, when did I start getting into more complex shit? I guess 
pretty much well it's it's really confusing actually but i guess when i started getting into more like complex stuff i was really playing a lot of bo2 when i was in l7 and uh that's when like more stuff started coming out like knacks and all that or people started going for them more at least people were finding different things to do on games so yeah, i guess you can say like before I, like a month or two before i joined l7 because when i was in auto before i joined l7 i was playing a lot of mw2 just going for like distance shots really wasn't really being complex but yeah i guess you can say when i joined l7 so faithful ask does mike wazowski blink or wink he fucking blinks he's got one eye judah the dummy ass have any of the hood niggas tried stealing your car since you got it yeah jayza asks, do you have a big dick yeah floral verzo with the flower emoji asks, where my fucking dad am right here i think this kid's name is tyke uh he said who inspired you to do youtube really nobody inspired me to do youtube i guess like it's kind of a long story there's a lot of like not really backstory to it but there was like a lot of thought that went into this like i guess i will when did i start uploading not last year like a year and a half ago i started daily uploading i went i bought myself like a little computer that could run really anything that was cheap not the best computer but i bought you know this desk i bought two monitors i bought all this shit and i was like yo you know what like i'm about to have a lot of free time off we were going into summer and i was just like yo i want to start making videos i want to get somewhat of a fan base be coming out of sore i already had like seven no i think i had like six or seven thousand subscribers i was pushing like 15 16k on twitter and i was like i got somewhat of a fan base i'm just gonna start making videos i'm gonna see where it could take me and when i did start daily uploading i was getting like one to two thousand views a video which was all right because i had like six thousand subs but i didn't think i was gonna do it for that long i thought it was just gonna be like a little temporary thing because like i'm still kind of doing it to this day even though i don't upload that much anymore which i'm gonna start getting back into but yeah to answer your question uh pretty much myself really like i don't know if you guys remember i used to videos with young he was doing the youtube thing kind of at the time he was just making like stories and like commentaries but it wasn't really an inspiration i was just like i want to do this too but i wasn't really he didn't really inspire me you know what i'm saying and for this youtube thing i always had like a thing for like getting good ratings and good feedbacks like a lot of numbers is why like so that's what i tried to get and i guess you could say i'm almost there i'm getting way better ratings than i did before i still never figured out how to say this guy's name he's one of my most active followers rexa or rixa yes fables when you first started what made you make a yt channel and start trick shotting and what got you to trick shotting well what made me make a youtube channel this was back in like 2009 2010 i used to 1v1 actually this is when me and my uncle used to share an xbox i used to 1v1 people and like i had a certain friend that would like record him and he took the videos off of youtube if they were still on there i what he took them off like a year ago i would put them on the fucking video but he used to 1v1 people and i'm not trying to be cocky but for the game just coming out like i used to 1v1 on cod 4 and stuff but for mw2 just coming out i used to fucking kill shit i was a beast yeah i pretty much made a youtube channel so i can fucking watch the videos and like i sometimes i would have them send them to me and then i would upload them saying that like it's me but somebody else recorded it and then like time started going by like i started playing like like trick shotting started coming in and then i started having people send me clips you know just little clips trying to join I joined a shitload of fucking little teams. And what got me into trick shotting, I met these guys who had like a little friend group and then I pretty much just like I pretty much just like got my way into their little friend group and then we just all became fucking internet friends and then I started trick shotting with them. They were all my age. I actually don't remember how old I was. Honestly, I was either like like fourteen, maybe going on to fifteen, thirteen or four some shit. I don't know. I was young though and then I just Swarmed my way into the little fucking group and then we all started playing six mans and team tax and trick shotting. Simba asks, are you going to do collabs with any other YouTubers? I'm pretty sure, I think I did tweet this out, I don't know if you guys follow me on Twitter. But I did tweet out that I want to start collabing with other YouTubers. Not to really try and use them, I did mention before that I do like a lot of numbers. But uh, like just to try and gain some subs or like gain a different like, not a different crowd but like a different like. I don't even know just different people i want to attract more people to my channel and i think collabing with other youtubers will do that so we can do like future videos and i can help them they can help me that type of thing right, so i know this was kind of short or i think it was kind of short there was only i ended up only putting 12 questions in here but if you guys did enjoy make sure you do leave a like once again i don't know what's going to be in the background but if you guys think i should do another one of these make sure you leave a like and a comment tweet at me dm me on twitter my dms are open if you guys want to shoot me some video ideas yes yeah, pretty much all i have to say if you guys enjoy once again make sure you do leave a like it's been fables make sure you check out everything in the description and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video and i'm out peace